Hey, Stan Arthur here. Today I'm going to show you how I recently took a project in Premiere Pro CC 2015 and color graded it using the new Lumetri color panel. First, let's take a look at the ungraded footage as it was cut together. that's enough of that. My first step in this procedure was to go through each clip in the edit and take a look at the exposure, the saturation, other elements of it to see if it was all pretty consistent. And it is with the exception of a couple of shots. For example, we go from, you can see here that it's, it's, it's well exposed and color is good, lighting's pretty good for mostly natural lighting, it's pretty good. Um, now this shot here looks overexposed. This looks overexposed and a little more highly saturated than the others. So before I do anything else, let's go to the color workspace. And on this clip, I'm going to, in the basic correction, I'm going to bring down the exposure just a tad and the saturation just a bit to more closely match this shot next to it. For me, that's pretty close. Let's see if we have any other shots like that. Sure enough, here's another one right here. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Bring the exposure down just a tad. See, 0.2. Bring the saturation down about 10%. So now it more closely matches these other shots. Now later on in the clip, it's one hour later, and the sun has gone down, and these shots are supposed to look darker. The interior shots with less ambient light. You can see at the end when she walks out of the shot, the sun has gone down and it's dark outside. So it's supposed to look a little different. But those shots look pretty consistent as well. So I took the two shots that I thought needed adjustment before we did an overall grade, and I did a little correction on those. Now I've put an adjustment layer on top of the footage and I'm going to start working with the color grade now. So let's pick a shot here. Let's take let's take this one right here. All right. Now the first thing I'm going to do is put a a camera patch profile on it. Now I know this was shot on a Canon 7D. Uh, I didn't shoot it, but I have often shot on Canon 70s, and I like this Canon 70 SL profile here for the how it flattens out the look. Now, if you're in a hurry, you can immediately go to Creative and begin looking through these looks. Uh, you can you can uh, see that there's a whole list of them here, but rather than that, you can scroll through them and get a preview here in the window. I mean, we got blue cold, blue day for night blue ice, blue intense, blue moon, blue steel, and then we're into Cinespace. Now let's just take this blue steel for example. Now if I want to see this on a big screen, all I have to do is click on it and it will update in the program window. I'm outputting this to a, to a 40 inch uh, calibrated screen to take a look at this. Now this this is a look, but it's, it's not something I particularly like. It might be something that somebody else likes, but again, this is all very personal taste involved here. Now, earlier I went through all of these looks and I didn't find anything I liked particularly. I thought they were all a little over-exaggerated. I have frequently gone to this uh, Kodak 5205 profile and uh, even for this footage, it, it 
not really doing it for me at all, even though I can punch this up quite a bit by tweaking it, but uh, not liking it very much. What I did was I ended up going to this neutral start and liked that quite a bit. And this tweaked it from there. And going back to basic correction, let's go back to this other shot. Here we go. Earlier that shot. Going back here, I boosted the exposure just a bit. Keeping an eye on my RGB parade over here. I boosted the exposure just a bit. Let's say 0.4. Now I'm going to bring the contrast up, keeping an eye on, on the blacks here because they're they're getting to the limit here and they're starting to get crushed. And we're going to bring the highlights up. I'm also going to change the 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 white balance a bit. I'm going to blue it up just a bit. I'm going to pull these blues up just a tad. And looking pretty good to me now. I'm going to bring the saturation up just a bit. Until that skin color looks a little warmer. We can scroll through some other scenes now and see what we have here. That's looking a little bright there. When she walks out of the shadows, that's looking a little bright. Let me bump that exposure back down a bit. Maybe back down to where it was. No. Okay, I'm going to go with point two. This is one of those scenes that I adjusted a bit. I think we can afford to go back to that clip and bump the exposure down just a little bit more. Point four. There we go. Let's go back to the other clip that we adjusted. This one here. Also looking a little hot to me. So let's go down to the point four there. Yep, I like that better. This uh, saturation may be a little hot there. Yeah. Let's take about down about another 5%. Good deal. Okay, from there now, I'm going to go towards the end of the production. Remember, this is darker, nighttime. And I think the look holds up. A little dark on this clip here. So let's go to the clip and take the exposure up a bit. I think point 0.4 is fine. I think the saturation looks good. And what what has happened here? I believe that she has been lit with a uh, with a 5600 light, and the the room is more 3200. But I'm not going to really worry about it. I'm not going to mess with it at this point. I could cool it down just a tad, but. It's really not any point to that. I'm going to leave it alone. And last but not least, we're going to add a vignette. Just a hint of a vignette. Let's go back to another shot. There. I'm just going to bring it down to about... Ooh, that's a little hot. Point three. Very good. And we're done. Let's take a look at the graded look now. Good skin tone. Nice, matches the other shot. Looking good. Lights are not blown out. Looks nice that the light coming in from that window looks great. There you go, a little bit of a hot spot on the wall there, but it's kind of a nice artsy look. Here we are at the nighttime shot now after the 
sun has gone down. See how dark the kitchen is in this shot. Unfortunately, it's it's a lot lighter later on. But that's how it was shot. Yes. Are you available to get to the designated meeting area within the next 30 minutes? Yes. We are prepared to pay you in full this evening when you are around. See, the kitchen is much lighter here. And there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration of using the Lumetri color panel inside of Premiere Pro CC 2015. If you enjoyed this little presentation, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.